So during the tail end of 2022, the Amiga company, which is headquartered in Germany, they broadcast their town hall events, State of the Unions, a lot of companies do this, town hall events, and they broadcast it over YouTube. And during that live stream, they let the cat out of the bag early, letting uh, their uh, followers know, as well as people in the company, that, hey, they had signed a partnership with Blaze Entertainment, that's right, to bring their games, Amiga games, to the Evercade platform. It took Evercade a couple of months to finally acknowledge this, and then they made their own announcement at the very end of 2022, letting their fans know that, yes, they did sign that partnership with Amiga, and we would see Amiga cartridges coming soon to the uh, Evercade platform. These cartridges run on their original handheld, on their VS console, as well as on the Evercade EXP. And the first cartridges coming out is from British publisher Team 17, and it's going to have 10 games on it. That's right, 10 games on this particular cartridge. And it looks like, from feedback I've seen today in fan forums, people are pretty excited about this game lineup. You have uh, the Alien Breed series, you have Full Contact, you have Project X, All Terrain Racing. You also have um, this cool little um, wrestling type game, wrestling fighting game, Body Blows, Alien Breed 2, Quack, which that looks kind of funny. Who doesn't want to be a duck? Arcade Pool, and then Alien Breed Tower Assault, and uh, Kingpin Arcade Sports Bowling. Now, I myself have had uh, covered the Evercade a few times on this channel. I've reviewed a few cartridges as well as the VS console, and Evercade viewers who found my channel said they would like to see more Evercade content, so I definitely wanted to give you guys the information here on this particular um, new cartridges coming soon. Now, one thing to note is in the Evercade Discord channel, uh, they did confirm that the cartridge will be up for pre-order uh, March 17th, so what, in about eight days or so, and the cartridge itself will release on May 31st, so just a heads up there, that's when it's uh, going to be up for pre-order March 17th, released May 31st, and also if you head over to the Evercade website, uh, you will see that on the Evercade website, uh, on the homepage, on the splash page, They've updated it to include the Team 17 cart, all the information about it, the hype trailer that I just played for you, as well as a nice little breakdown of all 10 games. Uh, what the 10 games are, how they play, how many players, what genre of game, as well as, you know, just some quick notes on each game. So it's really nice to read through all this. So I myself, when I had previously reviewed some of the more recent cartridges, Alba's Awakening and stuff, really liked that cartridge when it came to things like the C64, like, guys, I missed out on the C64. My first uh, console system I was playing on was the NES, the original 8-bit Nintendo. So I didn't really have a lot of nostalgia for those games. And I really didn't like the way they play. They felt like old Atari games that weren't that great. Um, I really didn't like it. But I got to tell you, looking at the visuals of these games, although I don't have a lot of experience with these games, these games actually look a little bit more my style when it comes to the kind of retro games I want to play. I actually think these games and this lineup looks very interesting from Amiga. I think I myself am probably going to pre-order this cartridge as well and check it out and uh, maybe uh, play it on the channel and all that kinds of stuff. But very nice to see that the Evercade brand continues to grow. Yes, there's ways to play these games, pirate these games, all that kinds of stuff. But it's really cool when companies do attempt to, you know, bring us some licensed retro games from the past in a fun little form factor, collecting the carts, the clamshells, all that stuff. That's what makes the Evercade brand special and unique is that little nostalgia trip of collecting, you know, clamshells, collecting those cartridges, putting them in the slots on the machine, and turning it on and playing the games. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, just wanted to bring you this quick update. I know the Evercade viewers of this channel have been asking me to do more Evercade content, so I'll be watching the feedback closely on this video, see how it does, and if we want to continue doing more Evercade stuff, so the best way to make that happen, guys, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the way out, and definitely leave your comments, feedback, reactions below. Let me know what you think about Amiga games coming to the Evercade platform. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.